we are here today with our sales engineer, Phil Lange. I'm Jessica Stank, and we are gonna talk about some of Apex capabilities. And Phil, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about your thoughts on Apex's ability to handle a more custom job, or do you feel like we um, were better at standard equipment or more stuff that's R&D or stuff that's very challenging? Well, from a sales engineer point of view, we do a complete line of equipment and it's nice to be able to get a customer that just calls them and says, hey, I want to do 20,000 tons and apply 6% fat and it's easy cheesy and we go on. But as a sales engineer, I prefer the custom jobs where we come into a, uh, with a customer and he's got a specific problem and he's been looking at it and nobody's been able to help him. And we look at it and go, well, this is in our wheelhouse. We just need to make some modifications and what can we do to help solve this problem? Sure, so can you give us an example of um, one of these projects that kind of took a little bit more as far as changes or, or something that was a little bit different as far as what APEC normally does? Sure, sure. One of my favorite ones is we did something with a large poultry company uh, on the processing side. They um, were taking the mechanically removed meat where they take the meat off the bones after they've cut off the breast and everything. And they had a, a process where every day people would go in and weigh so many pounds of salt and so many pounds of another product and they would put them in Ziploc bags. Oh, wow. and, then, and then they had one person down below and they had two big mixers that would weigh a thousand pounds each on load cells. And this person would verify that the hopper was empty. He would hit start, they'd put in a thousand pounds of meat and they would physically pour in the, the salt and physically pour in the cure. Totally manual. Totally manual. Wow. And then again, when you're dealing with people and you're having to weigh things, things don't always get weighed properly. Oh, sure, sure. People are gonna make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So we came in and talked to them, said, well, here's what we can do. We can build you a custom tube and micro. And because it was food grade, we, and, and also looking at the ergonomics of things, we went in and had, we talked about bringing, uh, putting in a custom bulk bag system outside. So the way the system works is we came in and we put high and low level sensors in front of the process and high and low level sensors after the process. We came in with a tube in micro and put it up above the floor and then we they actually built a separate location, another room where they put the bulk bag in and for the salt. And so instead of somebody having to pick up 50 pound bags of salt, the customer put it in a bulk bag and so when the salt bin runs low, we have it on load cells, it automatically calls for salt from the bulk bag station outside and it auto fills the salt. So no more picking up 50 pound bags of salt. Yeah, that's easier on the operator. That's less waste or human error. All it takes is one back injury and you can pay for a lot of micro <laughs> and a lot of different stuff. So, but here's where the customization comes in. Well, you, you just never know what kind of problems you're gonna run into. When I quoted the system, I had it set up to where we did everything above the floor, above the process. Well, the company went in and cut a hole through the floor and dropped the two bin micro system down below. So that opened us up to a whole nother range of variables that we weren't counting on because you've got a food grade, wet, steamy system down below. Every time they, they opened up a door, you'd have a gush of wind. That affects your load cells on your micro system. Right. Um, and then the fact that it was such a wet environment, uh, we had everything up above in powder coated mild steel. We ended up having to come back and do, come back and replace everything with, with stainless. Oh, right, because the environment was. The environment. Mm -hmm. And then everything was with hydraulic pumps. And so when it would turn on a pump, it would shake the whole floor. Well, come to find out one of the ingredients was a regulated ingredient with a very close tolerance. So that changed the scope up after we'd already built the equipment. So these variables are coming along. So it was not an overnight success, I will tell you that. Okay. I mean, we worked long and hard with the company, but I will say the company never gave up on the project either. Uh, we made several stops out there and we every time we did, we found something else causing a problem, something else causing a problem, and we eliminated those problems as we went along. So finally when we reached the point where Everything was completely automated. I stopped by to check on them. I said, well, how is everything running? Because mm -hmm. we hadn't heard anything from you in a little while. Right. And they said everything is a exceeded expectations. Okay, great. No news is good news in that no case. No news is good okay. news. So I said, what do you mean it exceeded expectations? 
The system runs so accurately and so repeatable that they ran 3,000 batches. They could get on a run, so the person down below that was starting and stopping the system mm -hmm. would plug in 30 runs. The system automatically weighed both ingredients, auto-filled, and there were no issues. They had no aborts. So the only time the uh, equipment aborted was when they first started up and it did a flush. After that, it ran all day. So they ended up taking the two people that were weighing up the product upstairs. They're doing something else with the company. Wow. The person that was overseeing the, the, the process itself, standing on the platform, they've got that person doing something else huh. because they plug in 30 batches, it runs 30 batches, and they're done. There's no problems. It starts, stops, it's just completely automated. Wow, that is a good example. <laughs> so that's what we live for as a sales engineer. I want to go in, we want to help those companies that have a problem and nobody else is helping them. And you just, those are the ones that just, uh, you just really feel good about and they're great success stories for everybody. Well, thank you, Phil.